this might be great news for Utah home buyers that I'm going to share with today's video, which is a look at July of 22 recap, how we finish the month and a mind blowing statistic of what the month looks like um, in July of 22 compared to the past when we've seen these numbers. So stay tuned. <laughs> So if you've been thinking it's not a good time to buy right now, today's statistics that I'm going to share with you of how our July of 22 ended and compared to the history of um, number of units sold and sales prices that I'm going to discuss all of that, you may change your mind that this might actually still be a good time to buy despite the higher interest rates. So before I jump into it, I just want to make it clear that the numbers that I'm gonna be quoting are from utahrealestate.com, which is the main MLS system in Salt Lake City. Now there are other MLS systems like St. George and Park City that could have different statistics, but a lot of this list listings and those other two um, MLSs will be listed with Salt Lake. So this is for the entire state of Utah, reported to utahrealestate.com and their numbers. So and it's all housing types, condos, townhouses, single family, mobile homes, doesn't matter. They're all going to be lumped together in this video today. So the first thing I wanna point out, in July of 22, our average sales price dropped almost 7% from its height in May of 22. So just a few short months, our average sales price dropped 6.77%. To put that into perspective, the last time we have seen a sales price that low was in February of 22. We were actually about 10,000 higher in July of 22 than we were in February 22. But the thing to point out is we're a very seasonal, seasonable market. So we always see sales prices decrease, inventory decreases, um, all of that in the winter time. It, so for us to have this in the summertime, such a drop, that is good news for buyers. Now, one thing that shocked me, we are historically a slow July market because in Utah, we have two holidays. We have the 4th and the 24th of July. So many people are traveling all month long and we're just used to having a slower month in July. But July of 22, we finished with 31, just over 3,100 units sold in the state, 3,171. Well, we have not had a summer month that low since September of 2013. So if you would count September as a summer month, maybe you count it as fall. Before that, in July, June, you know, all of those months, actual summer months, we haven't seen that few units sold since the summer of 2012. Now, we do get that low during winter months, December, January, February, so I'm not quoting any of that. I'm just looking historically at summer months that would be comparable to this summer or this July. Another good indicator for buyers is sellers are getting more realistic with their list prices and those are coming down when you look at the numbers. But I also wanna point out that in July, the average list price to the average sold price was 98%. So home sellers were getting about 90%, 98% of what they were asking for for their sales price. The last time the average sales price was down to 98%, including winter months, I'm talking December, January, February, the thick of winter, we have not hit 98% of a list price until January of 2020. Now, the thing that I wanna point out to you is the thought that, well, maybe we didn't sell as much because we didn't have enough inventory. That's not actually the case. So in the second quarter of 2022, we had just over 18,700 units 
um, available or listed on the market. The last time we've had that high of inventory dates back to the second quarter of 2018. Now in the second quarter of 2019, we actually had more than what we do, but still it does show that our inventory is up. There are lots of home options for buyers and we're also not seeing the competitiveness that we've been seeing. So I know a lot of people who were like, I'm not getting into this market right now. I don't wanna do these crazy appraisal waivers and above asking price and compete with 10 different offers, things like that. Um, now, we do still see that in the market, but it's very, very few right now that is doing that. So if you're a home buyer, the benefits of buying right now is you don't have the competition. You have more than five minutes to make a decision if you're going to um, purchase a property. And because the inventory is up, you have that bigger selection and you also are not doing appraisal guarantees right now. Um, a lot of times you can get the home less than what it was listed for, depending on how long it's been on the market or how appropriately it is priced. Um, so there's a lot of benefits to home buyers right now. If you're looking at making a real estate move, I'd love to connect with you. I'm always here to help, but as always, make it a great day.